poetry is the language of experience. That's right. An object is located north of the celestial equator. Present a diploma in recognition of this significant accomplishment. Welcome to the world of Western. Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm a student at Western Kentucky University in Bowling Green, Kentucky. In the next few minutes, we'll be taking you on a journey and some of my friends will be joining us. Hi, my name is Megan. I'm Kyle. Hi, my name is Mindy. Hey, my name is Joy. And we'll also have a little extra help from our friend Jamie. I'm going to take you to the spots around campus and show you things that will become part of your life here at Western. Fine Arts Center. Thompson Complex. Grice Hall. Care Conference Center. Not those places, the fun ones. Western was founded in 1906 by Henry Hardin Cherry. In fact, his statue still stands atop that famous hill you've probably heard about. Today, Western Kentucky University has more than 14,000 students in 130 different academic programs. Did you know? You wouldn't believe where people come from just to go to Western. We have people from every state and 40 different countries. To get an idea of exactly where Bowling Green is, take a look at this map. As you can see, Western's right in the middle of everything. Did you know? Bowling Green is home to the only Corvette assembly plant in the United States. You'll also find the only museum dedicated to this American sports car. Okay, so are you ready for a campus tour? I know I am. Then here we go. I went to all the schools in the area. I went out of the state and uh, checked them all out. And I came back to Western and found out that was the place for me. Because you get hands-on experience. You get to meet people and uh, see what they've done to become a success. Western has always provided uh, students with an opportunity to progress and to get some experience. And that's where it's at. Uh, because uh, you know education is nothing without experience. I like challenges and it seems as if there's always something in chemistry that catches my attention. Everything counts. Every single test grade counts. There are no drop the lowest test grade. Not for me, there aren't. They're beginning to ask me, how do I know this? Well, what's another way you can get to this answer? And it's harder, but I really enjoy the challenge of doing something on my own as opposed to just memorizing. Western is far enough away from home to gain some independence and to learn how to live on yourself that it's still close enough if you need to go home for a weekend it's no problem. A business major is some a major that you can jump off from any point. Uh, a business major can go to law school, a business major can go to veterinarian school, medical school. It's just it's a good launching point for whatever career you want to choose, even teaching. I came down for orientation, everyone was so nice. Everyone talked to me and everyone said hi on campus. I mean, this is my home away from home. I called my parents first week of school and told them I was never coming home. <laughs> Western has a very good education program and they let me go to the schools and observe for classes. I go out into the schools kind of and just observe teachers and get involved with the kids there. Did you know? If you like to eat out, then Bowling Green is the place for you. There are more restaurants per person in Bowling Green than in any other city in Kentucky. Of course, you can't eat in your own residence hall room. Hi from Western's Main Library. This is more than a place to just keep books. In college, you need access to all sorts of computer technology, and Western is on the cutting edge. Here in the library, you have access to the internet. Through terminals such as this, you can use the WKU Net, which opens worlds of information that you'll need for your classwork or just for fun. In fact, Western is the first university in the state of Kentucky to offer such a wide-ranging system for all its students. I have to send some email. I'll talk to you later. Did you know? Hey, if you have a computer, don't leave it at home. From your residence hall, you can connect to the WKU Net and the internet. 
You can email friends in other places or send the letter home. Do you know the main thing that sets Western apart from other schools? It's the teachers. I went to some universities and the classes were so large, they knew you by number, they never cared if you came to class. You're not a number here at Western. They know you by name. Just after a few days, you know, they're going, hey Kyle, how you doing? I'm like, hey, you know, they, they know me. I really felt like they knew me and they cared. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is, whether it's at school or at home, or if I just want to give them a call, they're always willing to help and they're always so happy to hear from me. And I really, really appreciate that. And that's really another one of the main reasons why I came here. What's going on today? Excuse me, this will only take a minute. Some of you may be wondering what college life is like in a dorm. At Western, there are many rooms and halls spread out all over campus. Some are for men, some are for women, some are co-ed, but you get to make the choice. Plus, there are activities throughout the year that you can join. Thanks. Do you know him? There's more to college than just classes, and here at Western there's always something going on. You can get involved so much on this campus, especially like the intramural sport. You can sign up and really participate. I've played, I've been on the volleyball team, the volleyball team, you name it. They have a water polo team. You don't have to actually know what you're doing, you can just have fun. The Bowling Green area in general, you're an hour away from Nashville, you have the Corvette plant, you have Hobson Grove, you have Mammoth Cave, uh, there's never a lack of something to do. So we have a farm. We have cows, we have pigs, we have sheep, uh, all kinds of animals. We went to the inauguration of the president and that was really interesting. And this summer I'm taking a caving course. What other schools can you go to to take a caving course and use the outdoor classroom? I mean, it was so beautiful. The Preston Center is just another example of how Western puts students first. This state-of-the-art facility has everything you could want. A running track, weight room, racquetball courts, an Olympic-sized swimming pool, and plenty of room for hoops. I love the Preston Center. Luckily, I'm not part of the Hilltopper basketball team, but I still love being a part of that Western athletic tradition. I've never seen so much red, how many towels flying up, and students just screaming. Yeah! Oh, it was fun. Big Red is a funny little man that I have no idea about. Big Red is the spirit of Western, the heart of every student. He's a big, cuddly, teddy bear looking creature. <laughs> My dream is to become Big Red someday. This may surprise some of you out there. Big Red isn't real. He's just a student in a costume. Sorry. Oh, the rewards are opportunities to be a leader, personal success, faith in yourself, you feel better, that fear is gone. Hey, I can do it, it's not so bad after all, I just have to work a little harder. I've heard my friends talk about being in a class with 600 people, and that just doesn't really appeal to me. I like the individual instruction. When I came to Western, I saw all kinds of many different faces and walks of life. We have all kinds of people here at Western, and they want to share you know, their stories, their experiences with you. I didn't know anyone coming down here, and I made friends very fast. 
It's just like Kristen said, Dr. Cherry watches the campus from high on the hill. Who needs the Preston Center? But seriously, think about where you want to go and find a place where you'll be happy. But don't take my word for it. Come and schedule a tour. You've got to see it. There's nothing that anyone can tell you. You'd have to see it to believe it. Well, why don't you come down and visit and you'll see. You won't be scared to leave home. You'll be excited. Talk to some students that have graduated with your interests. Go to the school that's going to fit you and what you want to study. Before we go, I have a special guest with something to say. What, am I on again? I said a special guest. Thanks, Kristen. For the last few minutes, you've been listening to Kristen and her friends tell you about Western Kentucky University. Now I'd like to take just a minute and share three facts with you that I hope you'll remember and use when you're selecting an institution for you. First, this world is moving rapidly into the age of technology, and you must be prepared in that technology if you're going to be marketable upon graduation. And at Western Kentucky University, we're on the leading edge in the use of that technology, and more importantly, we're on the leading edge in the use and availability of technology for our students. Second, if you're going to go to an institution for four years or more, why not go someplace that's friendly? And at Western Kentucky University, our faculty, our staff, and our students pride themselves on having a friendly campus. And third, look for an institution that can help you reach the goals that you have set for yourself. And make sure that that institution can help you reach those goals with quality. And at Western Kentucky University, we've been doing that for almost 90 years, so we've had some practice. So let me encourage you to read our brochures, visit with your guidance counselor, and most importantly, come visit us on the Hill. We'd like to see you here, and I look forward to seeing you next fall. Well, that's all for now. I hope we've helped you decide about choosing a college, and we ask you to take a good look here at Western. We'd be happy to have you, and I think you'll be glad you came. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you soon on the Hill.